Hi everyone, my name is Graham from Africa Stalking. Today we are at Chuka University in Tarakanithi County, part of the second trip we are doing in, this, in the country of Kenya. Um, it's been very great. We are meeting developers, we are supporting them to build solutions on the Africa Stalking API. And even more important, we are getting their feedback of their experience on the API. So this is going to be one of the universities that we visit in Tarakanithi County. And throughout the month of February, we are going to be going through various counties in Kenya. We started with West Af Western, um, Nyanza, that is uh, Kisi County, Nakuru County, um, uh, Kisumu County, and now we are going to, we are in Chuka County, Meru County, and next week we'll be Nairobi and the coast, so Mombasa County and Kilifi County. We expect to do this uh, across the country of Kenya for the next couple of uh, weeks and then maybe come back to the circuit in quarter three of 2023. However, we look forward to meeting you guys wherever you are uh, in the different countries, in the different universities. Uh, let's see what we can build together on the Africa Stocking APIs. Developers, we are specifically building with the Airtime API. So if you have any ideas uh, of what you'd like to build, we'd like to meet you. And see you soon. Thank you very much. Uh, to me, I normally see that elephants walk in a herd and also foxes hunt in a park. So developers should be in a community because you face challenges each and every day. But when you're in a community, you're able to share and also you might be doing a lot of stuff and already maybe that stuff is outdated. But when you are in a community, people will tell you, no, this is not the way, this is the way to approach this. And I've learned a lot through communities. Well, um, today's experience was awesome. It was very nice. I would like to thank you guys for bringing this uh, event, this hackathon to Chuka University. We are so grateful. Um, on a personal level, I'm so grateful because I learned a lot of things. I can't even start mentioning them about Jira and all that. There are a lot of things that I learned. So, um, the, the, uh, According to me, the, the session was informative. It was uh, it was actually just just good. Yeah. Honestly, I couldn't learn all this on my own. It has been an interesting session with you guys, and uh, yeah, I've 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 learned a lot, and I'm quite sure that I'll be. I'm much interested in using Africa stocking after learning about you. Yeah, and. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using your platform uh, in my development journey. Uh, my experience was awesome. I liked it. Uh, and this is not my first time. This, I think, is my fourth or fifth time here in Chuka University and also in Nairobi. And each and every day, it's another amazing experience. You learn new things and I like it. I am a subscriber to the Atlassian community. So when I saw the email and they said they were to host an hackathon in Chico University, I definitely are paid. Yeah, so that's how I heard about the event. I heard about Africa Stocking from a fellow developer. I, as I was doing some of my projects, but then I I couldn't get much information of the solutions you offer online. So I just saw the USSD part, the bulk SMS, yeah, and all those, and the pricing and stuff. So I, it wasn't so easy for me to learn more on my own other than by attending this event. So by attending this event, it has really helped me a lot. And now I can say I know much about Africa Stalking and I'm confident in you.
the government is issuing farmers with subsidies right now. So now what happens is that the government recruits people to go to constituencies, constituencies and wards to do the farmer registration. So how the recruitment is, uh, they train, they, they, they tell the farmers, they tell the, the recruits, the recruits what questions they're going to ask the farmers, like how many acres of land do you have, uh, what do you farm, what animals do you keep. So what you're trying to do now, you're trying to create a, um, a service or we are trying to create a solution to eradicate the whole cost of deploying the manpower to the farmers. So we create a USSD code whereby um, instead of people going to the farmer, we, the farmer just does the USSD code. They do their registration, say how many farms you have, what, the number of acres you have, the animals you keep, and so on and so forth, all those details. So that is basically what we are doing, yeah. We are working on a solution on health. So we are, we are, we are integrating Africa Stocking S bulk SMS on a, in our app. So when you visit a hospital and then you are booked for, you, you are given an appointment date to go back to the hospital for your checkup. So we are building for the hospitals and a platform that they can they, they can input the date you're supposed to go back for your checkup. So two days prior to, you receive your SMS as a reminder of your checkup so that you can, to reduce the, the, the chances of you forgetting to go back for your checkup or going back for your medication or whatever the case, because sometimes people may forget. Yeah. Uh, today we are building a, a small application to help a, a Mama from Akibanda to maybe notify the clients or the regular customers. Today we have a discount. Today we are selling this at this time. Yeah, at Meita Kibandaski. So uh, this uh, person is able to key in the numbers of people who normally come, and then she tells them, "Today we have this. We are offering this," and then people will see the text. Well, uh, number one, like I said, I want to thank you guys for bringing this, uh, this event to Chuka University. Number one, so the hackathon itself, the hackathon by itself is way better than, uh, than all of us expected because um, the, the amount of information that we've gathered today, uh, it's actually a lot of information and very insightful information. So the hackathons should definitely continue. Number two, maybe you could try using uh, um, events, events being in collaboration with other tech events, so that uh, people can be able to know um, about Atlassian, the Africa Stocking, and all other tools that come with these companies. It was an awesome experience. Uh, it has been a, a wonderful session with you, people. Uh, the presentations were okay, and they were, to me, they, they were simpler. They were made easier for me to understand. Like, I've understood all about Africa stocking in like two to three hours. Importance of team collaboration, yeah, using uh, the Atlassian tools like the Jira software, the, the Confluence and all those. The importance of the Atlassian tools for both the managers, developers and everyone concerned with the development process. Also, the, 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 the importance of the Africa stocking is a uh, Africa Stocking API system. You can, okay. Nowadays, uh, we have so many transactions happening on the phone, and like a great percentage of people own mobile phones. So, with Africa Stocking, even in the most rural places, who are able to, you can use such to 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 send messages even to rural places that have a weak internet connectivity or no internet connectivity. So, 
today my takeaway is Africa's Talking, can, I can consider it one of the best platforms to use to send my messages to clients. So if you have an application or whatever you're doing online and you want to, to be communicating with your clients, be it receiving messages from them or sending messages to them, Africa's Talking, I think, is most convenient. Uh, number one is consistency. Uh, you have to be building each and every single day I mean, adding another block on what uh, on the blocks you had yesterday, and also maybe apply Kaizen that each and every day should be a better person of who you are yes, than who you were yesterday. And also, one thing I've learned with Dagi's passion. He has passion in what he's doing. I saw him in a, I met him in a, in a hackathon at AT HQ, I think, in Westlands, and I like the passion he has. So. Uh, uh, maybe my takeaway is just love what you're doing and I, I normally say I love what I'm doing and I do what I love. Yeah. My name is Francis Ndaruka. Um, I am a data and cloud engineer, that's in a nutshell. My name is Yvonne Nabangala Simim. I'm a student at Shuka University, currently in my third year of study. Yeah, I take BSc, Computer Science, and uh, as, besides that, I'm also a web developer. Okay, my name is Simon Viruri. I'm a software engineer. I work in one of the leading banks in Kenya. And mostly I do mobile, that is Android and iOS. I joined Chuka University in the year 2017. I graduated in the year 2021 with second class upper division. And I've been coming to the events to motivate them and to make them see like even there is life after campus and if you are determined you make it in life.